might want to look away now. This is it. Listen to the echo. The focus is obliterated on impact. Only the rear end escapes total destruction. And the passengers... Don't ask. God, the hairs on the back of my neck are sharp as nails. The car decelerates from 120 miles an hour to zero in 68 milliseconds, with its occupants experiencing peaks of 400 G. The front end hits the wall with such force that the back end rises up 90 degrees and the car is slam dunked down onto its nose. Crash test expert Tony Payne talked me through the scale of this wreckage. Absolutely mauled. Yes, you've got the vehicle crushed nearly all the way back to the B pillar. You can see here, for an occupant in there, oh absolutely no survival space at all. My there's the rear seat, and there's the steering wheel there, and literally it's been compressed between the front and rear seat down to that distance. Goodness me. It's, it's almost turned into a piece of modern art. And if we go right round into the car itself, Front seat's, seat's right in there. Uh, That's the instrumentation panel, and the person's literally in that area there. I mean, I know it's it's all it's all not real, but no, it's still no, mighty no. haunting. It is an extreme scenario, but modern family hatchbacks can reach the speeds we saw today. Maybe it'll make you think twice the next time you want to put your foot down. <laughs>